How's it going guys? Panther Films here and today we're going to be reacting to Season 6, Episode 8 of Fear the Walking Dead. This episode is titled The Door. Now, last we left off, I think Charlie and Alicia, well they were looking for Virginia's sister, they found this guy in a cabin, or like somewhere in the woods, right? This taxidermist guy, and he ended up dying. Victor or oh, Morgan found them, then Victor found them. Alicia and Charlie went with Morgan and Victor was on Virginia's side. And the episode ended with Grace. She's pregnant. And she's being held captive in the town of uh, where Virginia is. I, I, it's been a while, so there's some things I'm probably messing up there, but I think that's most of last episode. Um, but before that, we had uh, Virginia losing her arm. Right? She got bit. Uh, June saved her. Probably a mistake. Uh, John, it wasn't that the same episode John left? Like, John left on his own and he's just leaving, right? Uh, Daniel's kind of playing a facade. He's uh, buying his time until the, until the right moment. Virginia's sister went with Morgan, right, I think? I think she did, or she might have gone back to Virginia. A lot of people have been hyping up this episode to be like a big, like, Twitter-breaking episode. We'll see what happens. I'm expecting... Because I think originally this is the mid-season, so I'm expecting maybe a death if it's the mid-season, you know? Oh, God. I, like, I don't know who could die, though. But this season has been really good so far, so we'll see what this episode entails. Let's stop do lally and go out and get right into the fucking episode. A grip on the knife handle. Oh, yeah. Did we ever learn who killed him? Oh, yeah, the Fast and Furious. Oh, we're getting another John episode? I guess that makes sense. Like, wasn't his episode called The Key and the Door? What's TV? Wait, is he? Wait. Is he back at his... Cabin? No, don't do that. John. The fuck? You don't... No, no, no. You... No, no, no. That's not gonna happen, John. B.A. I mean, more is just gonna keep on coming, right? Ah, he's on a bridge. Oh, shit. The walkers are coming. But why, John? Wait, is this... Actually, this is from... Isn't this from, like, an earlier season? I remember like a bridge being blocked off in one of like the early seasons. Maybe not the earlier seasons, but like was it last season I think. Maybe he's trying to get bang, 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 bang. The sneaking up on me. Hey, I don't want no trouble, but if it's trouble you want, I got some for you. All right, John, calm down. You turn into a badass now. I'd love that. I mean, he's already bad ass, so it's a fucking 10 out of 10 shot. Blood. Someone's been murdered. I'm, I'm running from my sister. Wait, she's got Morgan's axe. Oh. <laughs> hey, John. Oh, he's still bleeding from the, the gunshot. How'd you survive? Had some help. I came to, I was already patched up, but they moved on. It, come on, like, they keep hinting at it. It has to be someone we know, right? They wouldn't, like, set this up and then just to be a nobody. Maybe they would, I mean, it's fair, so. Where are you trying to go? He's got a place in his building. What, Dakota, what are you going to do with that? Behave. Anybody home? Yeah, I'm here. You all right? Oh, look at that ass. <laughs> yeah, but gonna, he's going to see Morgan in the blood, right? Jesus. Morgan going to kill him? Someone going to kill him? I'm coming for higher ground. Oh, you got the walkie. That's good. It's annoying, though. You could have done it there, John, but I don't know if I would have missed it because you don't know if there's any others in the area, mate. Right? I mean, he's, he'll be back. When in Rome, the doors. <laughs> That's not going to fit. Where's June? Why is she not with you? I mean, they kind of separated, uh, you know. It's not worth talking about. Oh, it's not. Where is this place you're settling? The... Just avoid the question. Forty miles north. Forty miles? Jesus. You wanna use me as bait? Yeah. Duh. <laughs> Morgan don't get two shits now. God, John, it's for our family. Looks like blood. It's off a knife handle. The one that killed Cameron. Leave me to whoever killed him. I couldn't. Wait. Do you think it was Dakota? Morgan? It's me. <laughs> they fucking used Grace against him. All my rangers will find you. No, they won't. It's the whole damn coop. Oh wow. Victor, you motherfucker. Oh, legit everyone, even Daniel. Last time you locked yourself away up here, June washed up. Today it was us. I don't know, all life might actually be precious. Hell yeah, all life is precious. We're going back to that. 
I mean, not really. Come on, John. I mean, I get it. You know, he's a good guy, but he's so, like, innocent, I guess. You know, innocent, but, like, also badass. Oh, sh what the fuck? I mean, that was a late reaction there, because I was speaking, but... You did a good job there, Mo. Oh, no, he's wounded. How oh, did you miss, John? Come on, John. Focus. Morgan's got to be knocked out or something, right? That must have fucked him up. Probably bleeding a shit ton now. He's dead. There we go. Oh, Glenn's good dying again. God damn it. Wait, what? Oh, he's burying it. Help keep us from becoming like Jenny. You know that, right? That's not the only reason. I mean, obviously, but like, you know, you're a good shot. Find another vehicle back by Bill. I can't risk it. Oh, convenient. How about that one. Oh, I can handle it. Any other rangers show up? I'm not sure that I can. Yeah, but you'd be alone anyway, though. Like, Morgan. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, people kill and die, but Jesus, what they did to her was a bit fucked. Because of what you had to do to Marcus. Because I didn't kill him before. I don't know why. I'm not meant to live in this world. What? And because I found you. I found everybody I think of as family right now. And that wouldn't have happened if you hadn't insisted that I sleep in the bed of your truck that night. Is John going to die? Just the way Morgan was talking about his first episode there, it's kind of getting me a little bit worried here. There's no way they to kill him off, right? It's a, it's, this was meant to be the mid-season too. I could see it. Fuck. Wouldn't count on it. <laughs> Why is she act, like she's being weird? I mean that works. I mean one at a time. Push him out of the way. Is she gonna speed up? What's she gonna do? Or are they gonna get stuck? Similar to what like that one that did in season four. What's going on? Stuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's the most gore we've got in The Walking Dead since Glenn got his head bashed in. Jesus Christ. You're in no shape. He's in no shape, but does that. <laughs> Careful, John. No. No. If you're going to have a teacher, you have John as a teacher. What do you mean, hold on? Jesus Christ. Hey. My man Morgan. Don't tell me he got bit. Did he get bit? Not Morgan. John. Why oh, they kill all of them? Well, there's one like still alive there, but still. It's a general store off no. of Old Route 185. No, Morgan. And it's called Bills, and a couple John. miles there, we get off of me. There is a cabin. Why though, Morgan? Why? Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. You know? It's not your choice to make. Just like it wasn't yours to chase me down that road when I have my busted leg. Why do they keep referencing the first episode John's in? It makes me worried. Best friend, try and kill himself. Best friend? What about Vic, Morgan? What about Vic? <laughs> you didn't hear that. Stop it. It's like this, you know, the movies where you have, like, the sword go here. John, I found it. Oh, they always play dead. The cheeky fuckers, aren't they? That's a knife. She kept. Virginia was covering for you. Hmm. Why though? It seemed like she was hiding something or trying to. Yeah, but why'd she kill him? What'd you kill him for? Yeah. Did he figure it out the way that I was sneaking in and out of Lawton? Thought he deserved to die for that. It's no different. What do you mean it's no different? Can't let you ruin this for me. Boy, 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 hey. Listen, I'm, I'm not gonna tell him. Well, how, why would he tell anyone? He lied. What do you mean he's lying? Why would he lie? He's got no reason to tell anyone. Don't you fucking pull that trigger, bitch. You don't want to shoot me. That's not what I want. <gasps> You're fucking with me, right? No. You fucking bitch. You fucking bitch. It doesn't always have to mean something, John. She's a... She's a villain, dude. That's fucked up. What? Uh -huh. That's a good shot. Uh, but, uh, you can't. No, he's not dead. What? Uh, what the actual fuck? Wait, he's still alive. You're kidding me, right? No, don't go towards the fucking light. Nah, he's lost way too much blood. He's dead. No. Wait, he lives. Does he live? 
No, you fucking bitch, don't you dare. I had to do it. No, you didn't. John, where is he? Uh, she's got blood on her. <laughs> Chop her head off. I am the reason you are alive. Huh? I saved you at the gulch. Nah, I doubt it. Nah, she's just saying that. Well, I wrote that note. I left it for you. That's such a shit reveal, dude. There's no way. Why is it her, man? Out of all the people building it up and it's her. After she fucking shot John. Kill her. Fuck that. That can end her. And it is the only reason you are still here. I, I, fuck that, dude. She just shot John. You heard Morgan go find Ranger Dory. Ranger? He better not be f well, Oh, wait, what? This is it. Do I? Oh, wow. Hmm. Nah, he's pale as fuck, dude. He's dead. No. Are you kidding me? I thought he could survived. He got on that thing just so he'd wash up on. Fuck. They just got fucking married, dude. Just, 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 just kill him. Just kill him. You're gonna have. To, you know. You kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? He died twice in one episode. He died as Walker and he died as John. You can fuck. Kill Dakota. Kill both of them. Both sisters. Virginia and Dakota. Kill them both off. I had a feeling halfway through the episode that they were gonna kill him off just because they were like. They were bringing up like his first episode over and over again, and I'm like. Why? Because then another part of me was thinking it's a mid season, right? So. Someone has to die, right? That, like that's the only way it'd break the end. The like the twas. The fact that he pulled himself up onto the fucking door just to die. What was the point of that? Like it gives you a sense of hope that it's like, oh shit, he's he's pushing through. But I mean, he lost way too much blood there. There was no way he was going to survive that. But Morgan survived the same exact gunshot, right? He survived the same. I mean, to be fair, I think I don't know. Morgan got hit around this area, right? So did John. John got a hit around this area. Unless it hit his lung, it might have hit his lung. I don't even know what to say. I mean, the episode, I think that, like, the biggest moment, obviously, was John dying there. Like, there was, di dialogue was alright, but I'm wondering how this leads into next episode. I'm 50-50 on John's death. Like, half of me is okay with it, half of me isn't, because it's John. You know, like, he's legit, like, one of my favourite characters in Fear, and now he's just dead like that. And the fact that fucking Dakota was the one that left the message for Morgan and she saved him, I got horse shit. After all that build up since like the very first episode, oh yeah, it's Dakota. How did she drag him? How did she save Morgan? How did she drag him back? There's no way. I call horse shit on that. Seems to be a pattern in fear, doesn't it? Like the kids seem to seem to do like stupid stuff that makes no logical sense. Like the kids in season five like tying up the walkers and shit, that makes no logical sense. Like you're telling me that they managed to do that. Behave. Behave. I call horse shit. I, I think I don't think it's her. I mean if this was meant to be the mid season I could see it working, but I mean it was the mid season, right? That that was like that's how the first half would have ended with John's death. Yet again, it's doing the same walking dead pattern of uh just making the big episodes, the mid-seasons, and the finales. I mean, the season's been good. Like, first episode was fucking great. I'm just trying to work out why they kill him off. I mean, if that is it for John, which I assume it is, it's not like a dream sequence or anything. Garrett Dillahunt, you did a great job. It just kind of sucks that your character became a thing in the worst seasons, <laughs> you know? But, I mean, that's kind of a weird compliment, but you definitely were the highlights of season four and five. And now he's fucking dead. Like, what? You're telling me John doesn't even get to meet Negan or fucking Vic? Are you kidding me? Now, if I was Morgan, right, and I found out John died because of what Dakota did, I'd fucking chop her head off. Fuck off. Morgan, he, she killed your best friend, dude. Kill that bitch. Next episode. Hopefully. I hope, I hope we're done with this story arc and the fucking pioneers and... The, whatever they're called now, the Rangers. I hope we're done with them at the end of the next episode. I just hope it's over. Like, I, w I want to begin, like, a new story. Like, I want each half to be a separate story. Like, kill her off next episode that started the first, second half, and then be on your way into, like, whatever the sub thing is. Man, what a fucking shit death for John, man. Like, I'm not, like, in sh like it's such a shitty way for him to go out. 
Like, not like shit death, like, oh, you know, the, the death was bad, because, I mean, it's definitely going to have impact. Like, that, that, that's the problem. People say, like, when deaths are bad, they need to have impact. That's why Carl's death I'm 50-50 on. Like, I think the re the way he died, like, the, the way it happened was stupid. But the impact of it was good. Like, the behind-the-scenes reasoning for Carl's death was utter ridiculous. But if the death has an impact, it, it you know, it's a good death. So I'm, I'm hoping for a lot of impact with John's death. The way he died, I mean, I think it works. You know, she's pissed, she shoots him. You know, John thinks he, he'll, he'll, he, he's not going to die without a reason. And then, like, he gets a reality check. What a fuck, fucked way to kill off such a good character to... Exact same way fucking Nick went out. It, it legit is. Killed by a fucking kid. Sh just shot point blank. And then dies. I mean, Nick didn't turn, but fucking John did. He turned quick then. He must have turned very... I mean, we've come to that conclusion, right, with Walking Dead the, or the Walking Dead universe. If you die from, like, getting shot, stabbed, like, natural causes type of thing, you turn much quicker than you would getting bit. Because when you get bit, it's slowly taking over your system. Like, it can take, like, 24 hours for you to turn. Or it might just depend on how far they're into it, you know, because the outbreaks, it's more in the air now, and they've all got it, so it's it's just fasty for you to turn. Because it's already in your system, you die, and then it just awakens what's inside you, type of thing. I don't know what to say, though. I, I genuinely, I keep going back to, like, I'm 50-50 on it. Imagine that's how they ended the first half. I would have been livid. I mean, I'm st I'm still pretty pissed, but, like, we've got next week to see it. But if we had to wait months to find out what happened next, I'd be livid. Just on the fact that John goes out like that. But I, I'm just in utter shock that they've done my boy like that. Imagine Negan died like that. Or Vic. I mean, it kind of happened. I'm fine with Nick dying. Hell, Nick, Nick, I mean, Madison I don't think is dead. Like, the way Madison's death, death was done made me think that she's alive. Like, the, cut, the, the white flash thing is... If they don't show it, they ain't dead. They didn't even show her body either when they went back to that stadium. I mean, to be fair, no one really died in season 5 of Fear. So I guess it's about time someone finally fucking died. But John? Like, one of the better characters dies. You kill him off on an already, like, suffering show. I think that's too... I mean, it's ballsy and it's risky. I, I like them taking that risk, but I don't think it's worth it. Killing off a character like John, I would have killed someone else. I think it's too risky to kill John. But at the end of the day, like, people need to come to that reality, you need to get a reality check. Not everyone dies a hero's death, even in real life. You know, people just die out of nowhere. It's, like, it's unpredictable. And that's why I like, like, apocalyptic shows, like, where characters just die out of nowhere like that. Because it's like, you know what I mean? They don't have to die this big heroic death, and they don't have to survive because they do in the comics. And I like they change it up for the main show and, and, and for Fear. Fear. But the thing about Fear is that like, it's always been unpredictable, like we've never known who died. I do think Fear got a little bit clumsy though, especially in like season two and three, with how many characters they were killing off. They were killing off way too many characters. Like more so than what Walking Dead did. Like Walking Dead killed off characters over the years and then obviously we got less and less characters from like the first season because they were killing off so many characters throughout the years. The fact that like, Fear, we had, like, Travis, his family, and, uh, like, Madison's family, and now the only one left from that is Ale Alicia. Like, Nick's obviously was behind the scenes stuff, and he wanted to step down uh, from the role. Travis, uh, or, you know, he was going to be, like, he was, it, that was because of um, the Cliff Curtis wanted to do Avatar, right? So I, I don't think that was even worth it. Like, I, I would have stayed on Fear for a bit. I mean, Chris is. I mean, Chris resulted in we get getting badass Travers, but that didn't last too long. Um, what about Taka, right? The Native American guy, like the only one that's like Daniel, Victor, and Alicia. The only three left. Alicia. I mean, I don't really care too much about Alicia. You know what I mean? She, I don't. I don't think she's done much to woman being alive. <laughs> I think Alicia's a good character, but they're not giving her a lot to do. That That's the problem with Alicia. Like, she's a good character, but they're not giving her a lot of material to work with. I, I don't know. I, I, I'll see how I feel on jo uh, John's death throughout the week. But as a whole, I think the episode was alright. It wasn't anything, like, spectacular. I, I just don't know how to feel on that death. Like, utter first impressions, I, I, I don't know. And that's the first time I've actually been baffled by a death. 
Like, I just didn't... I mean, I expected it. Like, they were kind of leading towards that, similar to what Walking Dead does, where it focuses on a character for one episode, and then it's like, oh, shit, they're going to die soon. I didn't expect John to die, though. Like, what the fuck? I mean, expect. I, like I said, I expected it halfway through the episode, but I didn't think they'd go through with it. Like, that... That's such a shitty way for such a great character to go out, man. I don't even know what to say. I ge I'm genuinely baffled by that decision to kill him off like that. Because they, they debate you, like, they get, they pull you in, you, they give you a little bit of hope when he starts swimming up. But it makes you think, oh shit, he's swimming towards the light. So maybe that's like the symbolism there, like he swam towards the light and he died, right? Like, it makes you question, like, how the fuck Morgan survived, doesn't it? Like, Morgan was shot with a, like, a similar kind of gun, right? Wasn't he? And he survived? I mean, sure, he got patched up, but in that amount of time, John died. Like, the same, like by the time, like, let's say Dakota saved Morgan, John would have died. Or by the time, like, she got to Morgan, uh, John would be dead. You know? So Morgan should have died, technically, but the only reason he didn't is because he's got that plot armor, baby. And you can't kill off Morgan in fear, because that's just disrespectful to Morgan as a character. If you're gonna kill him off, kill him off in the movie with Rick or something. You know, don't kill him off on fear, the show that he didn't start his journey on, you know? If you're gonna kill Morgan off, do it in the main show or do it in the, in the movie. Because it makes sense, like, he began his journey with Rick and it ends with Rick. But wasn't Garrett Dillahunt meant to play like Vic? I could see it. I'm kind of just depressed after that. <laughs> I, I genuinely don't know what to say about it. It's just... I just don't, I don't understand why they choose John. Ah, it's such a, I mean, it's such a random situation because half of me is thinking, okay, it's it's good because it's like, it's unpredictable and it's it's risky and no one's safe in the apocalypse. But then the other half is like, why John? I, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. That's, I mean, it's kind of a shitty, it wasn't really a review. It was more just initial shock. But I guess we'll kind of sum it up next episode, uh, my overall thoughts on it. I'm looking forward to see other people's reactions to the episode. And now I'm, I'm kind of wondering why the fuck they released it a week early. And especially with a death like that. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Not much of a review, because it was just initial shock from John's death. But yeah, I will see you in the next one. Ta-ta! Farewell. Rest in peace, John. Dory.